It is the 28th of May, and the Surkoof has spotted another transport that is heading north west of Pompeii. We're going to try to intercept it with both the Surkoof and a Wildcat that is in the area. Let's see what happens. Alright, so it looks like we have an unarmed escort and then an armed oiler. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can get contacts with the Wildcat. Looks like he, he does have some contacts, so the Surkoof is going to go ahead and start targeting the oiler here. We're going to go full, narrow, manual, fire, and let's just uh, get on target here. Let's just blast this guy right here. Fire, baby. Nice. Let's see where those rounds land. Go ahead and hold the fire. 21,000 yards, so he can't hit me. I can hit him, though. So don't have to worry about that. Very nice. Come on, baby. Oh, I can see me firing back here on the horizon. Is that all? Oh, nice hit. Nice. Okay. First hit on the Nippon Maru. No problem. Where's that wildcat? He's still coming. Okay. We'll keep him in the area so we can spot a little better. Because you know how that Surkoof is freaking blind. The optics on the Surkoof, not great. Even with 14 nautical miles of radar, apparently. So. Need the spotter. Oh, really, bro? Come on. Hitting all around, but not other than that first hit, we haven't hit him yet. So let's keep uh, that's pretty good, close, but no cigar. How many shells have we got on this thing? 320. Oh, now he's shooting at the uh, wildcat. Oh, so close! So close. Uh, Wildcat, let's not get killed, please. Go and turn around. Go and climb as well. Get out of that uh, machine gun fire area. Okay. Ah, just hitting all around him, but not getting hit. I might just let, he's at 88%, I might just let the AI shoot a little bit here. He might do better than me. I'm hitting right behind him. We got one hit on him, but I don't think it was, yeah, it's just minor, minor. Got him on narrow, but he still has a pretty broad range. It's surprising. Look at that. Look at the spread on that. <laughs> it's almost the entire length of the ship. Probably because it's such a long shot. Okay, well, we're going faster than him, but it's going to take us a while to catch him. First of all, I'm not even going the right direction, so... Uh, Start heading that way, please. Oh, that was a great hit. Alright, so just take a beat on him because he's going to slow down now. After that giant hit. He's probably going to die, but we'll... Uh... Oh, it actually sped up. Wow, okay. That's a surprise. We'll go to a couple more shots on him, see if 
that finishes him off. Look at that, he's speeding up like crazy. Critical, critical. Oh, might just hold my fire. Might just hold your fire, let him burn up. Yep. Let's uh, switch to this guy. There we go. And he's down. He's down. Another one. Oh, right on the freaking bridge right there at the end. Jeez. No mercy. Mercy's for the weak, apparently. Okay. Guess there's a few more rounds that are still in the air there. Usai Maru is about to get El Spangoed as well. I could send the Wildcat down and uh, throw some uh, strafing at him because he doesn't have any armament, so it would be safe to do so. But if I can get a couple of hits from the Sarkoof, it would be easy money. But getting those hits might be challenging. Knowing the spread that we have with that 8-inch gun there. And 22,000 yards is... It's a long way. It's a long way for the shells to travel. Oh, look at that. Look at that spread, man. That's wild. Oh, I'm def I was definitely doing better than the AI was. So, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Throw some shells manually. Here comes a wildcat coming in to do a little, do a little work. So let's see how this goes, Mr. Wildcat. Here it comes through the smoke. There he is. He's at low speed. Coming in for the strafe. Turn the bow. Get him. Get him. Nice. Oh man, he is ripping him up, dude. That was slick. Oh, that was excellent. That might be it for him. Critical, critical. Heck yeah. Let's go ahead and hold your fire with the Sarkoof. Let's go ahead and attack him one more time. Come back around. He's gonna sink anyway, but we'll give him one more what for with the wildcat. And Sir Goof's got a couple more shells left in the air. Come on, baby. Wrecking. Oh, I forgot he speeds up after that. Yeah, they speed back up. I forgot about that. I don't think we're going to need another run, though. Let's let him get out of machine gun range and we'll watch this guy sink. Oh, he's damaged, too. Okay, definitely don't want him to come back around. I don't want him to die. Cause it's, he's Because this guy's going to die for sure. And she's sinking. She's going down. Wildcat. Got her. Well, Sir Koof got one hit on her on her stern here as she was already on fire from the wildcat but <laughs> good stuff all right let's go ahead and retreat uh another seventeen thousand tons two points fantastic sir Koof. let's just go ahead and keep on patrolling this area all right what else do we have going on we got the south dakota on her way down washington and atlanta are still patrolling around pompeii We've got all of my other logistics groups all on their way to do uh, more work. I think everybody else besides the Wake Task Force. Oh no, Oil and Engineering are on their way as well. Why do you only have a hundred? Oh, because that's a destroyer. Okay. So they're all on their way down there. You are on your way back home. Okay. You didn't even have an escort, my friend. Jeez. Oh, I broke them off from one of the other task forces. Okay, he's definitely going to need something, even if it's just like a small destroyer. So let's just go grab a destroyer right quick. Um, da -da -da -da. Let's go Benson, if I got some. Yeah, I got some Bensons. 
Let's throw Vincent in here. He's only six points. Yeah. You come on down, rendezvous with these Oilers, and get uh, get locked up. Pompey's got an encounter. What? Oh, aeroplanes. No biggie. Oh my God. There's that's a lot of airplanes. Okay. Let's see if we can find whatever that is. It's probably. It's probably do, 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 a sub, but could be something else. So let's see if we can find whatever it is. Mayo has got an engagement. Really? Where the heck did they come from? That's scary. That's scary. Let's get these mariners up with some bombs. Let's just make sure we don't have uh, something nasty in the area. Mayo, well, my friend, what do you got, buddy boy? What you got for us? He's got some zeros. Okay. Well, that should be no problem. We should be able to dodge these, I hope. Let's just fly right into them. Or <laughs> turn into them. He's not flying. Although he's going to feel like he's flying because he's going to be driving so fast. Down, baby boy. Hold the mayo. There you go. Just keep on trucking, buddy. Keep on trucking. Dodge the first round. Second guy's got a chance here. Come on, Mayo. Nice. Okay. Safe. Let him finish his sh shots here. I'm not worried about the mayo, but I am wondered, one worried about where the heck those guys came from. So, I am worried about that. Did they sneak a carrier group over there somewhere? Oh, hello. One CL four DDs. Oh, is this that group that we saw earlier? I think it is. Well, let's just go and see what we can get with this Catalina. I think the Mariners I sent up have already uh, egressed. Light Cruiser, Light Cruiser. That's the Yoyoto. Okay. Well, we might see if we can get something going here. I don't know if I want to risk the Catalina or not. Could get the Oyoto here. Okay, how fast is he going? 10 knots? How fast are you going? 10 knots as well. I don't know. It's worth it. There's several destroyers around, yeah. I don't think I'm going to risk it. I don't think I want to risk it. And now, if I had these guys come over and snatch, take a little shot at them, that might be something different there. Might be a different story, but... Alright, Wake is ready to unload their cargo. Nope, they are not. Lies. Okay. Got some more engineering in there. What do I need for this Cosray to level up to level 3 here? I need 300 engineering. Alright, so what does everybody else have here? Pompey's got 41. 
Osrey's got 76. Wake's got 278. Okay, so go back to send him back to Wake. Some more engineering and whatnot from there. That'll be good. He is on his way down to these Oilers. Okay, this Mariner did not see him. Go ahead and return to base. I think it's night time, anyways. Okay. All right. All right. So the Wildcat has gotten an encounter. It's really early morning, and uh, got another encounter with a cargo ship and an oiler. I guess I'll go ahead and do it. I could go ahead and stir up a few more Mariners with some uh, semi-armor piercing bombs. Yeah, let's just do it. Send them on out as well. I'll, I'll well. Mm. I'll go ahead and engage them with the Wildcat and let's just see if we can get them wrecked. Let's just see if we can get them wrecked here. Oh, he, he didn't get repaired even though he went back home for the night. But I guess it didn't count. Okay. Didn't count. Didn't, okay. Fine. A couple of oilers. Oh no, he's a cargo ship. Second one is an oiler. Okay. Alright, well, we'll, um,. We'll get him lined up to do a uh, bow to stern run on this cargo ship. Finish off the oiler afterwards. Hopefully he does not get killed. Wildcats. Hang in there, buddy. I may have to send him back manually. Even though it you know, he went back overnight, but it's not matter. That doesn't count, apparently. He still has his orders. He didn't rearm or anything. Which is a little annoying. Alright. He's good. Let's see. Alright, uh, you are almost... Oh! Oh, don't get shot. Don't get shot. Oh, dang it! Wildcat is down. Jiminy Christmas. That sucks. Alright, well, let's let this guy blow up at least. Alright, he sunk. And we're gonna go ahead and retreat. Lost my Wildcat. That stinks. Let's get these Mariners up. Finish those guys off. Alright. Mariners. Go ahead and go in here. We're going to finish off this oiler. This should be fine. We're just going to line ahead on these guys. Where are they? There he is. Just open the Bombay doors. Go attack him. I don't care. I'm just thinking, surely. These guys can get enough hits to sink him without me doing manual bombing. It's an oiler, so pretty much I feel like if um, if we get a hit, it's going to kill him. So, <laughs> it's here's open. I'm letting the AI do the bombing here, so this could be a mistake. Could, we could potentially lose Mariners. <laughs> to the Oilers any aircraft fire, which for whatever reason cracks me up. I mean, I know they, you know, their gunning crew is no different than anyone else, but whatever. It still cracks me up. Did you drop, guys? One of them's injured. One of them's down. Lost a Mariner. Yep, there goes the Mariner. He's down. Come on, guys. I really should have called these guys off because I don't think he's, he's going to need this second round of bombs. Just putting them in danger for nothing, really.
<laughs> All right, that's fine. This is fine. Yeah, lost to the Mariner. Let's go on and get out of here, boys. How you looking, bud? Oh, he sunk. Okay, <laughs> he's already sunk. I just didn't hear the, I didn't hear the uh, noise. Okay, so let's get these uh, Mariners back home. Lost a Mariner. In that. Somebody came out of uh, the dockyard because, yeah, I just got some points back and didn't notice. Man, that's a bummer. We're about to get a Jervis back out. If I can remember, I'll bring another Jervis out. All right, Sarkoof has got another engagement. Jiminy Christmas. They got freaking cargo ships coming out the wazoo here. That is all I've seen, except for that one little invasion fleet. That was, uh... Alright. Sarkoof saw them momentarily, but... Then they disappeared. Okay. Spotter has got them, uh... Got eyes on me, perhaps. So we got a uh, cargo unarmed, an oiler that is armed. Or is that. Are these. Is this a Nippon Maru again? Yeah. Two five inch guns. What I thought. Well, maybe I should just go ahead and surface. Throw some shells on them. Yeah. Playing it risky, aren't you? I am playing it risky. He is only 11,000 yards away, so that means he can get shots on me as well. Let's see who can hit somebody first. Who's a be who's a got a better armament crew? The Oiler or the Sarkoof? He's taking aim. He's taking aim. Come on, Sarkoof. Fire. There you go. Rounds away with Sarkoof. There she is. On the horizon. He's turning to fire. And I lost sight of him. Of course I did. You know what that means? That means I'm not going to get shots on him. There he's back. He's back. Shots, shots away. Nice. Good hits. Okay. Another hit. He's got shells away. Damage report. Minor, minor. Okay. Is it dangerous? Oh, smokes, that was beautiful. He's at critical, critical, but he's still got teeth. So I don't. The uh, I haven't downloaded the beta because I didn't know if it was going to be compatible with the Pacific mod. But uh, your gun emplacements can get damaged in the new patch, which is really good. I like that. He's still firing. So, I think I might just uh, dive again until this, until this guy sinks. Because he's going to die, but I, def I don't want to let him uh, get me. <laughs> no damage so far. still can fire, so. Let Sir Koof go ahead and dive. And we'll see if we can, uh... Alright, he's sinking. Good. Now I can surface back up again. <laughs> Alright. Target number one. He does not have armament, so... 
Not to worry about that. The Winchow Maru. About to get El Reco, which is Spanish for wrecked. Just kidding, it's not. Let's go. Let's go, bro. What's French for wreck? Oh, wreck. <laughs> Le wreck. <laughs> that was horrible. Okay. Let's get this guy destroyed. A couple shots should do it. Just aim right off his bow because he's uh, turning, so he's not really going any forward momentum. To speak of hitting all around him, but not hitting him. So nice. That was good. Good tactic. There's the Sarkoof. Shells flying. Let's go ahead and turn a little. He's turning. Nice. He's got fires. Another hit. These 8 inch shells don't play. Nice. Okay, he's down to speed 7. He's got several fires going. Really wish Sir Goof could come up against something else, you know? Besides these cargo ships. I mean, that he's doing fine, of course. He's wrecking them. Love to get like a cruiser or battleship or something. <laughs> and those recoups think it. That would be excellent. Of course, I'd have to sneak in with my quote unquote sneak with this giant sub. Get in within 3,000 yards for our uh, torpedoes. The very terrible torpedoes of the Sarkoof. Yeah, 3,200 yards. <laughs> okay. Well, we got this. What you at, bro? Critical, critical. Let's get one more shot. That'll be do it. Oh, maybe not. One more shot after that. Let's hold fire. That should do it. Nope. <laughs> Didn't do it. Okay. And he's going down. Fantastic. He gone. All right. Two more points. What are we up to now? F as far as losses, I haven't lost anything recently, so that's good. Only eight ships still, mostly cargo ships, and the enemy losses are now up to, excuse me, 147, over a million tons lost. Mostly merchants and oilers here recently because all I've been seeing, yeah, lots of merchants and oilers. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Good game, good game, bro. Okay, so, I've got 37 points. I could get another cruiser out to help with the uh, Washington here. Uh, let's get South Dakota on down here as well. And then, um, what are you doing up here, Truant? He's just chilling. Let's go ahead and get another cruiser out. Let's see what we got here. 
Let's get the Northampton out. I like her quite a bit. Northampton surface radar, 12 nautical miles, air radar, 43 miles. She's got nine eight inch guns and eight five inch guns that are dual purpose. So we'll go ahead and grab the Northampton herself, 22 points. Can we go ahead and get a light cruiser as well? Get a little Atlanta in there to help. I don't quite have enough. I need three more points for that. All right, well, we'll go ahead and just get the Northampton. Have her start making her way down as well. Can you go ahead and load up some stuff actually while you're here? Can you grab some uh, troops, buddy boy? No, we cannot. Can't hold anything because you are a cruiser. Okay. Come on down then. All right, Sirkoof has got another freaking engagement. Oh my god. Sirkoof, my man, getting all the action. Why don't you go ahead and start heading south? My man, Sirkoof. Does Sirkoof have an airplane? Yes, she does. I don't know why am I not using that Kingfisher for scouting? Because you're an idiot, that's why. Oh my, we might get some torpedoes this time. I might get some torpedoes. Okay. 11,000 yards. We could go ahead and throw a couple shots out first. Get that nip on maroon. Should we? I mean, we kind of risked it a little bit last time. And, uh, could have not, could have been bad for us. But let's, uh, Let's go ahead and build up a torpedo solution. We've only got uh, 10 torpedoes, so. Gotta get within 3,000 yards. Could just go ahead and uh, get ready to fire. And let them get closer. I think that's what I'll do. I'll just go ahead and uh, get ready for my firing solution here. Let them come to me. And uh, I'll see you guys in just a moment. All right, we are coming up here 4,500 yards. And uh, she's coming into our arc of fire. We're going to wait till we get a lot cleaner solution. But uh, obviously, we still got to wait till she gets within 3,200 yards, which is crazy close. But. Uh, I'm not worried. She's got no escorts, so all else fails, we can let her get get away from us a little bit, and then we can shoot her with our guns. But I'm ready to pop a couple torps in her. I could go ahead and shoot both of them with torpedoes, maybe. There we go. I turn just ever so slightly. All right. I'll fire two at this boiler and then fire two at the guy in front. I think we'll be in good shape. Look at this. How oh, the can they not see her? <laughs> That's hilarious. That is wild. That is wild. Uh, you know what? I'll fire surface torpedoes at the guy in front because he's gonna be uh, he's gonna be vulnerable to us. So just for fun, we'll do that. Okay, let's go ahead and fire two at the Nippon Maru here. I will do a nice two degree spread. Twenty one hundred yards. She's at fourteen percent or fourteen degrees. Let's go down to ten degrees and then we'll fire. And. Uh, be good. Then we'll surface and fire some of our surface torpedoes at number one. That'd be fun. Just for fun. Obviously we could shoot him with our guns, but we'll have a little fun with it, you know? Alright, let's fire. Two away. There they go. There 
gotta go. Where they stop, nobody knows. But I'm hoping it's this oiler. But I'm hoping for it. Hoping that's where they stop. The suspense is killing me. Can't see the wakes very well from this angle. <laughs> nice. Very nice. That's a kill strike right there, my friends. That is a kill strike. She gone. All right. Critical, critical. Let's go ahead and start uh, revving up the old engine. Turn to the right. We are going to, uh, okay, she gone. Surface. We're gonna surface and we're gonna target this old boy. Hello, cat. Surprise! Are you surprised? Surprised or not? He's gonna try to turn. So let's see what we got here. Let's deactivate those racks. Let's just get this rack going here. All right. Very nice. Hoko Maru. I don't know how to pronounce it. Sorry. We're at 1900 yards. We're going to go ahead and straighten up here. Get her into a nice arc of fire. Let's wait for her to finish up uh, her bearing change. Nippon Maru is blowing up again. Okay. She's on a steady hearing, heading. Yes, 314. Alright, let's fire a couple. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Switch over so we can see the animations. Pretty cool. Look on the back here. There they go. Two white. Very cool. There they go. Now, theoretically, of course, she could um, dodge, or they might just miss. So I'm going to go ahead and start turning. And we are going to uh, get ready to give her the old paparoo here. Hold your fire, but get those guns trained. There you go. She's still on 314 heading, so. It's not worked out. Not work out. Oh, mama. She's running straight. One of the torpedoes is definitely going to miss. One of them might hit. See? Again, just doing it for fun. <laughs> Looks like they might both, both miss. <laughs> Unless he turns. They are gonna like bracket him. I'd gone for a zero degree instead of leaving it at two degrees. Probably would have hit. Yeah, gonna bracket him. <laughs> no evasive maneuvers needed. Hilarious. Hilarious. Yep. He just sat there, ran straight, let them do their thing. Too funny. Boom! Oh, mama. We're gonna get wrecked out because we're really close. It's not gonna take much to hit him. Spit at him and hit him at this point. I'm surprised he's tanked as much as he has here. What the heck, bro? Well, 
What the heck, bro? Let's get some AP into him. Rip through his innards. Oh, he's slowing down already. AP shells doing their work. Nice. Let's rip, rip his stern to shreds. Okay, switch back over to HE. Let's blow him up. Oh, he's down to four knots now. Three knots. Oh. That down again. Hold your fire, hold your fire, hold your fire. That done him in. Oh, yeah. The French flag flies proudly. French are doing their part. Heck yeah. Protecting their colonies. <laughs> Liberating their colonies. Quote unquote. All right. Good. Two more points. That means one more point, and I can have that delicious Atlanta come in. But uh, yeah. That may be it for us this episode. Pompeii's got an engagement. I really need... <laughs> so Cruz got another engagement. Wow, they just really want freaking cargo ships. I really need to bring my battleships. Once I merge up both of these battleships and the Northampton, I can come over and just smash truck and get that airfield just dead. I want to get that airfield knocked out. How's Tarawal going? It's doing okay. Uh, troops are hanging in there very well. So that's good. Well, I guess I'll save that for next time. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure and hit that like button. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.